Welcome to Messages from Mother Earth. I'm LaShyla Lewis. And Gooba. Hey LaShyla, what's today's message from Mother Earth? We're going to learn how indigenous people grow vegetables a traditional way in the desert. They farm in an area that hardly gets any rain. Wouldn't it be easier just to go to the grocery stores to get their veggies? Goober, there weren't grocery stores in the old days. We grew everything from seeds. In Arizona, the ancestral pueblo built a huge canal system to carry water to their farms. And they grew their beans and squash in little hills called mounds. The whole principle behind both of these, the rock mound and then the spiral, is that when water is applied to this land, it goes underneath the rocks. And then the rocks act as a barrier between the sun and the water, so it doesn't allow evaporation to occur. And so it retains water here a little longer. And in the desert, is something that we really, you know, are looking for. But the benefit of this spiral mound is greater because if you look at the spiral as a road on a mountain, if you were to stretch that road out, this could be like a 50 foot garden or 50 foot row. And so we can maximize our yields. Everything that we produce out here gets distributed to the community through the various programs of the Cultural Resource Department. But before we give it to the other programs, we always give it to our elders because they're kind of our links to the past and through them we learn a lot of stuff that we might not have known. And they say these are our relatives too, so you mm -hmm. treat them with all the respect in the world. Ah, so instead of inventing grocery stores, they invented farming in spiral mounds. Well, in a way, Mother Earth is a grocery store. We get everything from her. Veggies, fruit, fish, and meat. Yeah, so I can go to the Mother Nature grocery store and get a big old chocolate cake. It'd take about a year to make a cake that way. It would. First, you have to grow cocoa beans, raise chicken for eggs, and get sugar and oil from corn. But Esmeralda's birthday's next week. Carrots from our garden already. We could make her a carrot cake. Woohoo! 